Hey everyone, Dave here with Beast Made Reviews, the channel where we like to talk about quality at different price points. Now, buying leather shoes can sometimes be an arduous task. There are many, many different leather shoe makers out there and finding quality among those can be very difficult. Today we're gonna to be talking about a brand called Grant Stone, which is definitely up there with some of the highest quality shoes uh, that I've ever seen. And I don't know exactly when I first heard about Grant Stone or where, but I'm really glad that I have because they're my favorite shoes that I have and they're incredible. So I have a large selection here to talk about and this covers most of their line. So I wanted to make a video today about their whole line and kind of give you kind of an overview and what my thoughts are and kind of give you some of the uh, bullet points here about the line. Now, as I said, these are high quality shoes and their price reflects that, but thankfully their quality also does. These are great shoes. They have a very generous last, which we'll talk about later. They have great leathers, really high quality leathers. They mostly have leather outsoles on the bottom though there are a couple of styles that have rubber. They are Goodyear welted, I believe 360 degree welted. Um, they have very thick leathers. They have a steel shank and there's a cork bed under the insole. Now, when you get your box of Grant Stones in the mail, the first thing you notice is that the packaging is spectacular. Right away, it looks great. It's not cheap. You can definitely tell from their box and everything. They have a thank you note that is hand signed by someone that works there. They come with the shoe bags here that keep dust off the shoes and help uh, keep it soft against the shoe here. They also come with a little shoehorn that seconds as a bottle cap opener. And they even add another pair of laces in your box too, which is pretty cool. Now, once you get beyond the packaging, the first thing you notice about the shoes is they look phenomenal. They have a very classic look to them. Um, they're classic yet modern. I don't know how they do that. They are masculine. They're really beefy looking too. And overall, they just look high quality. You've seen cheap shoes before. And when you see those compared to this, there's a stark contrast in how high quality these look over cheap ones. The next thing you notice is that they fit great. Um, they have several different lasts. And I know fit is really a preference thing and everyone's foot is different. But immediately what I noticed is that the toe box, especially on the Leo Last, which covers a few different uh, type of shoes that they have, the Leo Last has a very generous toe box. It's very wide on the inside, very comfortable. I've had to walk uh, upwards of a mile in these shoes at one point, and they were very comfortable <laughs> walking for very far distances uh, around town. And I was really surprised by that because I have high quality shoes made in the USA, and they're not nearly as comfortable. So that's a major plus for this brand. Now, if your foot runs even wider than the standard shoe, maybe you go to an e-width, they also have e-widths available as well. So you're definitely covered there for larger feet. All right, now, like I said, I'm gonna go over um, all of these shoes that I have here. I don't have all the shoes that they make. They have some styles that I don't have. They have several different colors and they have different materials, but this is a really good representation of what they have. And so if you like a style, but maybe you don't like the color, they probably have that color. So definitely go and look around the website. Now I believe one of the first shoes they came out with was just their standard plain toe blutcher. And this one is a really classic uh, shoe that I really love a lot. Now this particular color is in their Chrome Excel color called Dune, that they call Dune, which is a natural natural chrome excel made by Horween. And this has a lot of pull up on the leather. So whenever you break it in and you start to wear it, you'll see a lot of color uh, delineation here along the crease here. I think it looks fantastic. It also shines up pretty well, pretty easily too. So it's a really versatile shoe. I love to wear this, especially with jeans and maybe an Oxford button down for a really smart, casual look. They dress up as well as down, but I find that they're even better in a casual situation when you just want to add that little extra uh, bit to kind of send you over the top for a little bit of a, a dressier look to a casual look. But this is easily one of the most versatile shoes that they have. So if you're on the fence about what shoe to get, I would definitely recommend the plain toe because I. I think you can wear it with almost anything. The next shoe that they have is their long wings. Now this is a brogue design, but what I really love about this is that they didn't just go with just wing tips, which usually stops around the uh, end of the toe here, but they went with long wings, which is a little bit less common out there. 
So I really like these a lot. It adds just a really unique, different take on the, the typical brogue that you usually find out there. Now this has the same Leo last as the plain toe. So if you are looking into getting these and you already have some, you can just use the same size that you normally have. Now speaking of sizing, let's go over sizing real quick. The sizing runs a little bit large, so they say size down to get kind of the perfect fit, and I find that's accurate. I have an 11 and a half uh, size foot, and I size down to 11, and it's perfect. Now this particular one is their British tan calf, and it's made from NNA French calf leather. Um, it's a beautiful color that I, I find works really well as a contrasting color to an outfit. I really love these a lot. They are a casual shoe, but it adds that extra flair of dressiness. I love, love, love these uh, brogues a lot. But they also have suede, and this one is their long wings in uh, coffee suede. Now this suede, I believe, has a water repellent treatment on the outside here. Um, I believe I saw that in the box that I have. They didn't mention it in their website, so I'm not sure if it's standard or if it was just something that I had at the time. I'm not really sure. The reason that is important is because you do not want to get suede wet at all. It will just ruin the, the leather. So you don't want to get that wet. So you want to keep it as dry as possible. If I even think that it's going to rain, I will not be wearing these, even with that water repellent thing on here. But I like that there's the added insurance of having just a little bit extra water protection just in case. Now you also may notice that there's blue laces on here. These laces did not come with this. These actually came from somewhere else, but I like having on this particular one especially, I like having a little pop of color on here, but they do come with the normal style laces, which I think are fine too. And as I mentioned, they are big on leathers and what type of leathers they have for their uppers and their shoes. And so this one comes from uh, CF Stead Tannery in England, this type of suede. So they are really particular about what they use on their shoes. Love that. Now the next shoe they made or boot that they made was their boot series. And this one is their diesel boot. And they also have an Ottawa boot, which I don't have on hand. Their diesel boot also uses the same Leo last as the other two shoes. So it's great for finding out your fit right away. In a lot of ways, it is kind of just a beefier boot version of their plain toe shoes, which I think is great. It has brass hardwares, brass eyelets and hooks on the outside. It comes with leather laces. And this color right here is their Crimson Chrome XL. And their Crimson Chrome XL is pretty standard in their other shoes as well. So I really love this kind of reddish brown color, love it a lot. And these shoes, these boots are phenomenal. These are the best boots I have. They're bar none, they're the best. Now the outsoles on these are actually just plain leather, but the new ones that they have now are actually kind of a Danite type of sole. They call that sole a micro stud rubber uh, sole, which is great. That's the perfect upgrade to those. Um, I do wish that mine had the rubber on there, but can't complain about these. These are still amazing, even without the rubber. Now the Ottawa shoes are a little bit different in the fact that uh, they're the same last, but the upper is just sewn a little bit different. It's sewn to be more of a uh, moccasin upper um, for the boot there, which is a great classic look. So if you like that look, um, go with that. They're both really phenomenal boots and I can highly, highly recommend these. Great. Now the next shoe that they came out with was the Oxford. Now the Oxfords are a very classic dress shoe and they are the dressiest of the shoes that you could have. So I really recommend that if you're looking for a leather shoe that is great for a suit, go with an Oxford just in case. You can wear this anytime. Um, this one in particular is from their British tan calf, which I love, but they also have them in black, which is the most formal that you can have. Now the thing with Oxford shoes is they usually run a little bit narrow because of the toe cap. So a lot of times if you get these, they'll be kind of on the tighter side. Grant Stone, they wanted to make a last that wasn't so restrictive, that wasn't so narrow. And they tried to make kind of a, a more comfortable roomy type of last. And I think they did a really good job here. Now this is what they look like fresh out of the box. They're brand new, they look amazing. And this last is a new last called the Oliver Last. And when I wore them, they are very comfortable. They're a lot more comfortable than some of the other Oxfords that I have in my shoe collection. Now, what I'll say is that they are the narrowest of the lasts from the shoes that I currently own, but they're still very comfortable and very wearable and a lot more comfortable than some other shoes that I have that are Oxfords. Now, of course, these are the dressiest shoes that they have and these go well with a suit, but I do find that you can still rock these with a pair of jeans. 
So uh, they're still pretty versatile for this type of shoe. Now their latest shoe that they came out with is the Traveler Penny Loafer. Now I love penny loafers. They're one of my favorite go-to shoes out there just for ease of use, putting them on and off, taking them uh, wherever you want to go. They match with a lot of different things. They are super comfortable, so I love penny loafers. When I found out that Grant Stone was making Grant, uh, a penny loafer, I was over the moon. I really needed some. So I got some and these are incredible. When I got these in the mail and I wore them, I was in heaven. These are super comfortable. Now there are two different camps with penny loafers. There are those that like the looser, softer penny loafers where you can slip them on and off easily. And there are those that like the stiffer, more tight um, penny loafers. I'm in the looser camp. So that's just my preference there. But Grant Stone, what they wanted to do was they wanted to kind of make a middle ground. And I think they did a great job with that middle ground. I think that this is a um, not super soft, but not super stiff leather. It doesn't take a lot of time breaking in and it fits really well. This is a different last, which is called their Alexander last. I don't exactly know, but it seems to be kind of in between their Oliver last for their Oxfords and their Leo last. It doesn't have quite the toe room that their Leo last have, but I think that's fine. I think that is actually preferable in this case. Now this one in particular is their Chrome XL Navy, um, which is on some of their shoes that they offer. And so I wanted to get these to kind of just show uh, some of the, just an additional color that Grant Stone offers. Now this one in particular is pretty dark, but also a little bit on the yellow or green side for a navy. Now that's common with Chrome XL Navy. The color varies a lot and you'll get that color variation depending on your lot of leather. So you have no control over that, but I'm fine with it. I think it still looks amazing as it is. I don't need it to be perfectly blue. It still matches well with jeans and other things that I wear. So I think these look phenomenal. Now these are the best shoes that I own. And as you can tell, I absolutely love these. I love wearing them. I get compliments every time I wear them. Everyone seems to love these shoes and no more than I do. Cause I love wearing them cause they're so comfortable and stylish. Now these are made in China, which to some people, might be a huge drawback, but I don't think it should be in this case because the quality control and the craftsmanship are second to none. Even compared to some of my American made shoes, they are just killing it with these shoes. They're incredible. This is a textbook case of you get what you pay for. What you get here is the best. You get every cent of the dollars that you pay for them. Now these are on the expensive side. They're about $350 a pair. And I know that's a huge chunk of change to swallow. But if you're looking for shoes that are gonna last the rest of your life and you want them to be high quality, but you also want them to fit well and you want them to look nice as well, Grant Stone offers the best value for what you get. There are $400 pairs of shoes in my closet right now that fit okay. They're made in America and they look okay. And I like them and I wear them. But Grant Stone gives me far more for my dollar than any of my other shoes in my closet. Sure, these are the most expensive shoes that I have, but they're the best constructed, they're the best fitting, they're the best looking, they're the best quality shoes that I have, and I think they look expensive, which I think is important here. Simply put, these are the best. You should try them out for yourself though and see if I'm not wrong. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Do you like Grant Stone? Have you tried them? Let me know down in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the way out. I'll love you for it. And if you like this type of content, click that little bell so you get a notification every time I make an upload. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm Dave with Beastmate Reviews.